Welcome to this video presenting our OWB to ODI converter. In this session, we will explain what is happening with OWB, why you should convert to ODI, and what's the most efficient way to do so. In its latest statement of direction, Oracle stated that there will be no more enhancements to Oracle Warehouse Builder beyond release 11.2, and that it will not be supported anymore beyond release 12 of the Oracle database. Therefore, you should migrate OWB before 2017. The official successor of OWB is ODI, Oracle Data Integrator. ODI is Oracle's strategic product for high-performance, flexible and heterogeneous data integration. The basic OWB functionality remains available in ODI, so by migrating your OWB project to ODI, you won't lose your previous investments. Also note that until the 31st of May, you can benefit of an interesting promotion deal of 70% discount when purchasing ODI. To make sure that the conversion process runs smoothly, Redbridge offers an OWB to ODI conversion service that uses an intelligently automated conversion tool especially developed for this purpose. This converter combines intelligent automation and customization to guarantee 100% accuracy. All OWB and ODI versions are supported, as well as all operating system platforms. Using this converter will speed up the conversion, ensuring a fast migration process. One of our customers, for example, was able to convert 2,300 OWB mappings to ODI in a matter of weeks. The conversion itself is done remotely, with some on-site consultation, testing and custom ODI development if this appears to be necessary. Our tool provides a higher degree of flexibility and more customization possibilities than Oracle's own migration tool. How does the conversion work? First of all, you need to provide us with an exported OWB MDL file. We only need the file, not the data. Our converter will extract the metadata from the MDL file and we use the ODI API to generate the equivalent ODI objects. For example, OWB locations will become ODI topology logical schemas, OWB modules will become ODI folders, and OWB mappings will be converted into ODI packages, interfaces or mappings. Next, the generated ODI project will be sent to you for acceptance testing. And finally, the converted project will be brought into production. This whole conversion process will be done within a fixed time frame and for a fixed price. Let's have a closer look at the different steps of the conversion process. Each step consists of several subtasks. A detailed description of the different tasks can be found in the white paper that you can download from our website. The first step in the conversion process is the assessment step. During this step, we define the project's framework, we evaluate the consistency of the OWB project, and we define the conversion criteria. For this first step, we need you to provide us with an exported OWB MDL file and based on that file, a conversion report will be generated. Next, during an assessment meeting, we will discuss the outcome of this analysis with you. The aim of the meeting is to decide together with you how exceptions will be managed using a workaround or by converting them manually, how the future ODI topology needs to be configured, as this might be different from the one in OWB. We will explain how each of the OWB components will be converted depending on the version of ODI you want to convert to, and how ODI knowledge modules should be defined to obtain best performances. Last but not least, we will discuss configuration management issues. Once all that has been decided upon and the roles and responsibilities have been assigned, we continue to the next step, the conversion step. First of all, the MDL file is imported in an OWB repository. Next, a TCL script will query this repository, retrieving all possible information and storing them in a temporary database. Finally, a Java program reads the information in the temporary database and creates the mappings directly in the ODI repository via calls to the SDK library. The outcome is tested at our services center. Next, the new ODI project's metadata are transmitted by the converter. These metadata will be included in the XML files that will be transmitted to the client. 
Once everything has been successfully tested, it's time to test the ODI mappings and load plan in your own test environment. First, the test environment needs to be set up. This includes installing ODI, importing the XML files resulting from the conversion and copying the databases. We assume that OWB is already present and configured in your test environment. Next, the new ODI project will be tested to ensure that there are no regression issues. And finally, the ODI project's performances will be tuned with the database administrator. When this step ends successfully, we move on to the pre-production step. During this step, we set up a parallel pre-production environment to ensure the correctness of the new ODI project in the production environment. For example, to verify the configuration, the privileges, missing patches, etc. If required, some fine-tuning of the new ODI project performance can still be done at this stage. The last step in the conversion process is the production step. In this step, we will remove the original OWB project and all its dependencies from the production environment and switch the scheduling tool to the new ODI project. Now the conversion is done and you are up and running. In summary, what are the benefits of our conversion service? It's fast, complete, 100% accurate and works for all OWB and ODI releases. We offer a full service including the migration, the reworking and the customization of the mappings and process flows in ODI. The conversion process is fast. It typically only takes a few weeks. And there are no surprises. The conversion is done within a fixed time frame and at a fixed price. For more detailed information on the different steps of the conversion process, you can download the white paper from our website. If you want a price and time quote, just send us your OWB MDL export file. If you want, we can also work out a proof of concept based on a selected set of mappings and process flows. Do not hesitate to contact us. We are ready to help you with all your Oracle conversion issues and hope to hear from you soon. Thank you for watching.